Hey, what's up everybody? I think you're going to get a real kick out of this video. We recently made the mistake of putting these jars with wax and these little vases that we had filled with candles inside our dishwasher. There was hiding wax in there that we didn't realize and after a full cycle it completely decimated the dishwasher. Check this out. It basically vaporized the wax and left a wax cake everywhere. So this video we're going to show you what to do. First things first, go down to the hot water heater and you're going to crank this bad boy on the maximum temperature possible. Obviously be careful. High temperatures can cause burns. But the idea here is that you have water that is really hot to work with that can basically try to melt that wax uh, as quickly and efficiently as possible. So what we're going to do is take apart the filtering system. Obviously your dishwasher will have maybe a different setup obviously a different model, but we're going to take out these handle and these filter pieces. You're going to want to check the instruction manual for your specific dishwasher on how to remove and clean the filter, but look at this filter. That is wax, ladies and gentlemen. That is disgusting vaporized formed wax that was caught in the filter. So obviously this dishwasher was not working after its full cycle. Um, it was completely clogged and reading an error message. So that had to be cleaned up. Obviously we've got wax everywhere with it. You can see in the middle there that filter is removed. And so how do you get rid of all this wax buildup and floating these, these large pieces and also the water? So we're gonna put all the filter and the screen stuff aside and we're gonna wash those later. But basically we're gonna take paper towels or sponges and get rid of all that stuff. Now be careful, you don't want any of those large chunks to go down into the circulation system. So I used a shop vac to basically get up all those large chunks as much as possible and you, can saw, you saw paper towels there and basically it's a matter of wiping everything down and vacuuming everything up and even getting into where the water goes down and drains out of the drain pump itself. Again, be, be really careful you get all those large pieces up. Now the output for the water, the water shoots up this little hole. We're going to kind of chisel. There's, there's wax buildup there as well. And then use the shop vac and bang some of those large pieces out. The goal is to get all the large pieces out. We're not super worried about this residue at this point, um, although with the paper towel, and that really hot water, you can scrub as much of that off as possible. We've got a little residue remaining here after we have cleaned um, the all surfaces. Now, you obviously, you want to take out not only the filters and clean them, uh, and again, this hot water really, really just melts this wax away. Check out this after the cleaning job that we did on this. This is uh, this is great. And the little arms, we're going to take out the arms and the trays and everything, run them through that really, really hot water and just push all that wax build up through. Look at that. So that got everything taken care of there. Little time saving tip for you. Don't clean, don't spend time um, cleaning the accessories until you know that the drain pump and the filter is, is actually working. In other words, make sure your dishwasher can run and then you can worry about cleaning those other pieces up later. And of course, put everything back together again as per the instruction manual. So with that done, let's take a listen. We have a fully operational dishwasher once again, and we saved hundreds of dollars not having to have called the repairman. Super clean on the inside. Again, turn that temperature all the way up on your house water heater, and don't forget to turn it back down when everything, when the job is done. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. For more do-it-yourself projects and home product reviews, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much.